Justin Trudeau takes Remembrance Day to not only embarrass the country, but be completely disrespectful. Let's get into it. Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. Now, Saturday, yesterday, Remembrance Day, very important day in our nation's history. At least I feel it is. Um, I feel it's very important that we recognize uh, those who pay the ultimate price, uh, who sacrificed everything so that, again, we could live free. Now, in our country, we have many freedoms, some which Justin Trudeau has taken away over the last couple of years. Uh, but one thing that, that we have the right to do is we can vote. We can uh, freely walk our streets without fear of persecution. We can exist without worrying about having uh, weapons at our backs or being threatened. Uh, we have a free life, despite what people may say about uh, treatments over the last couple of years. Uh, for the most part, Aside from what the Trudeau government has done to us, we're mostly a free group of people. Now, there's been various wars fought throughout the history of time. But the one that we mostly remember and reflect on are uh, the Second World War. And of course, uh, that is where the tradition of Remembrance Day began, that on the 11th day of the 11th hour of the 11th month, we honor those that paid the ultimate price. Um, I know my family and I were very, uh, we made sure that, you know, we had our moment of silence. Um, while we were not able to attend a ceremony, um, I just thought I'd try to get something out here because what Justin Trudeau has done is, um, well, is it really any surprise that it's despicable? It's, um, it's a reflection of what this so-called leader of our country wants to do. And I know we talk about Justin Trudeau a lot, um, but I wanted to kind of showcase what happened here. Um, if you go to Ottawa on Remembrance Day, again, this is a man who represents our country. And, um, you know, at a time where divisiveness in politics is huge, where people don't know how they're going to live, how they're going to manage, uh, the Prime Minister has one job to bring the country together on this day, and it's simply to leave politics outside the door and honour the fallen. Now, as, they, uh, as, as everyone assembles around the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier... Uh, we see here, as they play the last post on Bugle, um, the crowds are all in attendance. And of course, Trudeau is in attendance as well over here. And we'll see that in a moment, that while the last post is being played, this is a time when people are to remain silent. Um, this is a, uh, a Bugle production that is to honor the deceased. It's to honor fallen soldiers. And, uh, well, we'll show, we'll show what Justin Trudeau did. Um, and people might think it's small, but I'm going to get into why it's a little bit more important. Um, so we have this going on. CBC News covering it, of course. There's Trudeau looking at the camera. Oh, there's a little nod from him. Let's see that again. A little nod to the camera. While everyone's bowing their heads or, or honoring everything in silence, there's Trudeau giving his usual selfie. Oh, good, a photo opportunity. I'm going to nod to the camera. I'm going to make sure that I make this about me because look, look at my virtue signal is strong. Now, a lot of people, when, when this first broke, people were saying to me, it's not really a big deal. I don't see what the deal is. It's a huge deal because it's very disrespectful to those soldiers that are being honored. Not to mention, it's embarrassing that the leader of our country is more interested in giving a nod to the camera, in 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 trying... May, am I wrong here? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. But he's more interested in his exposure. He's more interested in his face being on everybody's television as he gives his nod to the camera than honoring those who have fallen. Now, if we go into the comments section of this tweet, I participated in many of these national ceremonies. I can tell you that during the playing of the last post, it's very stirring. It captivates you and leaves you numb with emotion. Not this guy. If he was in any other country, he would not have done that. Shame. Sorry for that. Unfortunately, we have a leader like that, too. Um, I mean, everyone needs to stop taking pictures of him. He's a narcissistic, uh, narcissist 101. Remember this. And, of course, it's the town hall where he said, you know, veterans are asking too much for us to give. Uh, yet, 
$11 million went to uh, an Arrive Can app for people to essentially do nothing. Um, he's like a bag of diapers, self-absorbed and full of shit. Uh, he is giving his answer to some other slithering snake. He gave the nod. Uh, King POS. Of course, we see Trudeau. And again, they're talking about Omar Cotter. Two weeks before Christopher Spear was killed by terrorist Omar Cotter, he was awarded a medal for saving two children trapped in a minefield. The terrorist Omar Cotter, who killed him, received $10.5 million from the Trudeau Liberal federal government. I've always had an issue with this. This was a virtue signal. You tell veterans up here that they're asking for simply too much, more than they have to give, and yet um, <laughs> people who kill our soldiers. Um, and don't take that giggle as a uh, as a funny giggle. That was um, That is a sarcastic one. At best. Um, now, again, it's not a very long video, folks. I want to try and get a video out today to discuss this and, and why I feel that maybe we need to start taking a check. And again, when we're talking to our MPs, when we're talking to even our, our local constituents, we need to address that, you know, in a world of woke nonsense, in a world of virtue signals, we saw this during the, the March for Children where Jagmeet Singh stood up and, and actually rallied against those who wanted to protect their kids. At a time where politicians are telling us more than ever how to feel, how to think, how to act, um, this is a complete lack of respect from, from our Prime Minister. And uh, is it any wonder that, that again... I, I'm taking the time to make another video complaining about our prime minister because these are these are the actions that we get from a man like this. I I, I guess I, I apologize as this video doesn't have the usual uh, beat of a, of a regular video on this channel. Again, um, I, I'm more sitting here in disgust from what I've seen because this is not how you represent a country. Then this is not how you honor the fallen um, or or respect our veterans. Uh, I've always said that vets come first in my universe. Um, my kids can walk to school without violent things happening in our country because people are willing to put their lives on the line um, to fight wars and, and, and keep evil at bay. And um, this prime minister shows on one of the most important days of the year that his selfies are more important. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Am I blowing this out of proportion? I could be, and I apologize if I am. I just, um, I think that Remembrance Day, especially coming from a prime minister who said there will be no prayers on Remembrance Day, um, behaves. I think this is disgusting. I think it's completely inexcusable. Uh, and while Sunday is usually a day that I don't put out content, uh, this video, as a reminder, was put out today as there will be no live stream tonight. Um, I am away from my studio. Uh, so I wanted to get this video out. So you guys had some content today. Uh, streams will return next week on Sunday at 6 30 PM Pacific time here on the channel. I hope this video has earned your subscription while you're here. And if it has, make sure to click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you're notified every time our videos go live. YouTube's reporting that we're just over a hundred people being notified when our videos drop. So in order to make sure you're getting our content and evading shadow bans, because when we talk nasty about Justin Trudeau, People don't like it, so make sure you click your bell for notifications. Do all the usual YouTube stuff as well. Like, share it out. Give me your comments, folks. I'm always interested in your comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and had a great Remembrance Day and the rest of your weekend. I'll catch you on the next one.